Just we see the order. Okay. Okay. From who? From the government. Government. I thought you were working with the government. Mm -hmm. So I thought you were working with the government. So if the government tells you to tell us something, you should. Hey, it appears uh, the Chinese locked black Africans in their homes over there in China. The same China that is over there so-called building Africa, helping the African people build their nation. They're actually locking African immigrants in China into their house. Now, now I don't know if you think this is uh, normal, but it's not. And it goes to show you how when you allow other people power over you, this is what happens. Now, imagine what's going to happen over there in Africa once the uh, Chinese get a, a bigger foothold. Be able to defend the government for the reasons, right? I have no, I no, I have no, Okay, I have a question. I have a family and I'll show you. Okay. okay. Here, here, this is the water we drink. And now, this water, I have, I have a question. Now, this water cannot go through this hole. And so, this, when you seal can, my door, can how do I get... And, you can open this door and in the wood and you you call the water you you should call our so every time this is why you have to be self-reliant i don't know why this particular black family's in china they should have left a long time ago i'm pretty sure he's seen things becoming the way they are way before this instant now I doubt, you know, you can leave the country because nobody's accepting flights from China, but man, I couldn't imagine being in some shit like this. Hey, but this just shows you an example of what these Chinese will do or any group of people will do to you when they uh, outnumber you and they think that, you know, they can violate your rights and violate your human dignity. I have to eat, I call you. Uh, okay. and I want to drink water, I call you. Mm. <clears throat> okay. My God. I don't know. Do you notice you're making us never? Hold on, man. Fucking commercial. First, mm? do you know you're making us never? Niran woman, Chin Chang, and Korean. You know? No, we, 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 no, we, I speak in English. It's we who are nervous, it's we who are stressed. Do you know that you're doing this to us? Hey, I'm going to give him credit for being calm. This African, his voice, like, the way he's talking, I mean, maybe he's like, all right, there's nothing I can really do. At this point, they locked me in the fucking house. So, I mean, getting all emotional and yelling and shit, <laughs> that ain't going to do nothing. But this African, his breathing, his voice is calm. It's like, you know what? A lot of these Africans are different than us because they don't produce the same amount of testosterone. We produce a lot of testosterone as black American guys. I mean, like, we're just, I don't know. We just produce a lot of testosterone. But you'll notice a lot of these African dudes... They, um, their frame is different and they're, um, the, the way they have, they're, they're calmer. Like you can do shit, talk to them a certain way and they won't, they won't go from zero to 10. Like, like American black guys do. You disrespect me? What motherfucker? What? Nah, nah, it's not like, <laughs> that's not how Africans get down. Africans are, are more like diplomatic. Listen to this guy. And this is why those Arabs be fucking with those Africans over there. Yo, man, I'm telling you, this is why motherfuckers be fucking. Look, Africans, I don't know about the, the ones back in the day. The ones that we came from, like, in the um 16th, 15th, and 14th century. But, like, the Africans now, they're more fucking um, diplomatic than the ones centuries ago, man. This is why, like, they tolerate the Chinese over there fucking with them, the Arabs over there fucking with them. Man, they should have been put the fucking, um, either the hands on these fools or if they want to get with that gunplay, hey, it is what it is.
别紧张，而是因为。现在暂时需要你们，暂时可以。应该需要这样。Yeah, but why my neighbor can go, I cannot go. Even to buy food, I have baby. You know. And you, 这一段时间有没有接触过非洲的人 ？No. You ask me all these questions. You doctor, you come here two times. I don't see. So he just said his neighbor can go out, but he can't. Hey, <laughs> this dude is probably this African is probably um. Some type of a uh, student, and he's put, working out there in China. So he's over there for、um, a degree or a job. That's why he's understanding what this Chinese guy is saying in Chinese. Anybody, I respect you. I don't see anybody. I don't go out. We ask them. Ask. Uh, ask. Uh, 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 I don't go anywhere. 上次我们来过六号，我们来过之后，你就没出过门。What is that? I I don't after the uh they go uh I go to the supermarket here、okay. by back home and sometimes I just buy downstairs back home. I don't really go. If I take baby, I go downstairs a small garden downstairs walk baby bring back up.、Mm. I don't I don't take the bus. I don't take underground. I don't go anywhere. But you still lock me in with the family. I can tell you personal attacks that has been going on for more than two, three months. Abuses. Hey, this is、uh, one of those professionals living in China that left Africa to work in China. He's given testimony on the、uh, discrimination and treatment him and other Africans have been receiving since this Kanova virus outbreak. You know how like、um, some people just go to different countries to work. And use their expertise over there. Well, that's what he did. He left one of those countries in Africa. Check it out. Or racist comments, giving me names, black or negro. I'm proud of being black or bl proud of being negro because. That negro is black. Black is black, and I'm proud. I don't care, to be honest. And thank you for asking that question. Maybe for the first time, I would make the. Hey, it's good that he embraced his blackness, man, and let him know. Listen, when you attack my blackness, I'm going to reassert it and assert it aggressively. I'm proud of who I am, and you ain't going to change that. This is how you, this is how you got to do it. Whenever somebody tries to make you hate who you are. But then you got idiots who will get their wake up call because <laughs> you got Africans who don't consider themselves black. But as soon as they go to a foreign country like this in China, they they remind it like those、uh, stupid ass Somalis, dumb motherfuckers. You realize how black you are when you go to when you go to China. They'll show you who the fuck you really are. But hey, at the end of the day, you got to embrace who you are. And a lot of these Africans get a wake up call. And even some of us here in America, just stupid ass black Americans, talking about, oh, I'm light skin, you're dark skin. It don't matter. We were lynched, we were beat and fucked up because we were black back then. Ain't no matter on, on who's light or who's dark, motherfucker. You're stupid. I hate when these you got idiots who be doing this dumb shit today. Motherfuckers don't give a fuck your complexion. You were being lynched and you were being hung because you were black, plain and simple. You clowns over here in America get too comfortable. Way too comfortable. Our ancestors are rolling in their graves behind that crazy shit we talk. It's public, even death threat. I don't give a damn because it's personally at targeted to me. Three months in the same situation. What makes me sad is, I said it last last presser. When the whole black community was insulted, when Africa was insulted, then I don't tolerate. Then I say people are crossing the line. When it's personal, even death threats, I didn't care. I didn't even respond. When, as community, people start to insult us, that's enough. That's enough. 
We cannot tolerate that. But since I don't have any inferiority complex when I am personally affected or attacked by racial slurs, I don't care because I am a very proud black person or Negro. I don't care being called even Negro. I am. That's what came from some quarters. And if you want me to be specific, three months ago, this attack came from Taiwan. We need to be honest. I will be straight today. From Taiwan. These are professional Africans. So all you passport bros, all that shit, SYSBM. This is what you can be subject, which is with all black men who fly overseas, because I've been overseas. And you're at their mercy. You're in their country. When an outbreak happens, and you're the only black motherfuckers around, <laughs> and they want to blame you for it, they want to scapegoat somebody, you're going to be blamed. Now, those Africans who got locked in their house in China, they were there. They can't leave, even if they wanted to leave. Besides their home country, nobody's going to take them because nobody's taking people from China right now because it's fucking this Canova virus. But see, when you go to these foreign countries, you put yourself at the mercy of other people. And here this doctor is, he's probably like a doctor or engineer. He went over there to China, was going to work, or Japan, wherever. The, well, he's in China, but I'm just saying, when you, when you go to these foreign countries, you're at their mercy, all right? You don't know the, the, demogra you don't know the demographics, the geography, the layout of the land. I mean, you're subject to whatever the fuck they want to do to you. So don't be giving high praises to these foreign countries just because they got some bitches over there that want to fuck you or a bitch that you got to pay to give you some pussy. No, that don't make that country a good country, motherfucker. You, you judge a country, a foreign country on, on how good they are based on how they treat their black African populations during crisis like this. And you see how they treat them. Well, how they treat us. And Taiwan, the foreign ministry or so, they know the campaign. They didn't dissociate themselves. They even started criticizing me in the middle of all that insult and slur. But I didn't care. Three months. I say it today because it's enough. But still, they can continue. I don't care. Because what I care is when humanity is insulted, when we don't care, when we have more than 60,000 body bags. I care when the crosses are lined and when black community is insulted as community. So it's not personal. I tolerated three months and I can tolerate three years, 30 years, 300 years. No problem if it's personal, if it's targeted to Tedros. But I assure you, we will do everything right in WHO. We will do everything that we can to serve humanity. I guess he's in World Trade or he's a, the World Health Organization. He's like one of those. Um, I don't know. It's part of some shit like that. And he went over there and got he got a dose of uh, reality. I'm telling you, man. A lot of black folks get their wake up call as far as being black. Once they go overseas and they go into these different countries like that. And I've been to Japan. They are, they treat you real good. I mean, it's like they never saw a black person before. They want to take a picture with you and touch you and all types of shit. It's funny, but that's just, you know, you're a tourist. You're not living there. You're not staying there like the Africans that were locked in their house in China. When you're, when you're living there and that tourism thing works off, wears off, it's a different ball game. So, yeah, man, hey, I salute the dude for embracing his blackness, for um, asserting his blackness when, when his blackness is under attack. That's what you got to do. When somebody criticizes you or tries to make you feel bad for being black, you have to assert your blackness and say, I'm black and I'm proud. If not, then you're just going to become another self-hater. All right. And men do not conform to other men's culture. Men do not take uh, an inferior position to other men. You just don't do that.
Not unless you're, you're a Fruit Loop or some shit like that, or you have Fruit Loop tendencies. So yeah, man, this dude did right. Now, I don't know if he was considering himself black before this incident, because, you know, a lot of these Africans, man, <laughs> they will fight tooth and nail. I dealt with Somalis, motherfuckers. They just don't want to be black. All right, motherfucker, stay over there. I don't, stay over there, motherfucker. I'm West African, so I don't give a fuck. But yeah, you motherfuckers, they, they swear up and down. Oh, I ain't black. All right, motherfucker. You don't got to be black. As soon as they hit China, as soon as they hit <laughs> Japan, they get that dose of reality. And it, it, it just fucks up their mind. Because for all these years, these Somalis told themselves, I'm not black, I'm not black. But then they're stuck in China for five years, and they're treated like a black person. <laughs> they just, it just fucks with them. It, it meant to, psychologically, it'll fuck with you because you try to convince yourself for all these, um, since all these years that, you know, if you're 30 or 25 years on this earth that, hey, I'm Somali, I'm, I'm, I'm not this, I'm not that, or, and then bam. You go to these Arabic countries in Saudi Arabia because, you know, those Somalis, they fake want to be Arabs. They, they go to Saudi Arabia <laughs> and they got them fucking Somalis as fucking slaves in their fucking uh, <laughs> in their fucking garage somewhere. So, I mean, hey, embrace your blackness. Motherfuckers are going to um, try to delegitimize it and make you hate it. The more you assert it the more they're going to have to accept it and realize that you're going to be here. And I'm also about spite motherfuckers. When motherfuckers don't want to see your black African skin, you spite them and you make more of them. You make more of us. Okay, they, they want to see fewer black Africans in America or fewer black Americans in America. Make more of them. They don't like seeing your black skin. They equate your black skin to animal flesh. Well, that's their problem. <laughs> that's their problem. You're going to see plenty more and more. But see, a lot of us internalize the hate, the, the, the hatred that others have for us. And we believe that negative, twisted shit. And that's why you hear a lot of us say some dumb shit like, why would you want to bring a baby into a world like this where racism exists? Fuck out of here. It, that's some self-defeatist bullshit rhetoric that a self-hater tells himself because they don't want to reproduce themselves. You have motherfuckers who will tell you, since there's racism, well, you shouldn't have a, you shouldn't bring a black baby into the, what the fuck? Just because there's racism, you shouldn't reproduce yourself and, and continue your, 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 uh, your legacy? What kind of shit is that? That's that self-defeatist mentality and that internal self-hatred that many of us internalize after, um, believing the negative shit that that um, non-blacks say to us. And that other black folks say to you. You got other black folks that say you black. That say you black motherfucker this. You ugly motherfucker that. They'll say that shit to you. But see, they're projecting. their insecurities. And time will tell. And you will know. That's, that, 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 that black person who criticized you and called you a black this, a black that. That same black person within, the, I would say, 10 to 20 years, you will see how they were projecting and how they are all screwed up as a result of not embracing who they are. Remember that. Any black, any black person who talks negative about black, you nappy head, you black this, you black that. Any black person who does that, first, they grew up in a household where their mom talked to them like that. And secondly, they're only projecting because they feel ugly themselves. Okay. Most of those kind of black folks, when they get older, they end up in a, in a loony bin somewhere. They have their own inferiority complex. Yeah, man, it's strange. Because over here in America, the Chinese got mad because Donald Trump said the um, coronavirus was a China virus that came from China. And then you had a bunch of um, Asian lobby groups talking about how it's putting... Asians in danger here in America, is stigmatizing Asians in America. Asians are being discriminated against. But look what's taking place to Africans over in China behind this coronavirus. They're actually locking people in their black folks in their house. See, when you allow people to do things to you, that sets a precedent. Then other folks will try that shit. It's like it's like if if you allow 
uh, let's for example, if you allow some uh, Asian or white guy or his, even Hispanic guy to walk up to you, go in your pockets and you don't do nothing, what that does is that emboldens this, that Asian, white or Hispanic guy to do it to another black guy, like a real black guy like me. And then he got to get put on his back and laid the fuck out when you should have in the first place put that motherfucker in check so he wouldn't be emboldened enough to go to a, another black person and try that shit. So it's like you got to nip certain things in the bud. And when these um Asians are putting locks on Africans in their house like they're in cages and shit, that's a fucking huge red flag. Let's get into this article. I'm, okay. So far in, uh, I'm not going to read that district in China. There have been just 16 confirmed cases of foreigners from African countries with COVID-19. But for the black community there, what's more terrifying than the virus itself is the rising tide of discrimination driven by both Canova virus fueled xenophobia and deep rooted prejudice against black people in China. On April 6, Shanghai, Shanghai, whatever it is, a neighborhood in whatever that is known as Little Africa due to its sizable population of African migrants became the subject of a social media frenzy after a since deleted Wabi post claiming that fuck all this, these damn cities located in the neighborhood would be completely locked down for 14 days. Some specific groups of people will be targeted for testing during this period of time, the post read. I mean, this is um, this is the same thing the Asians were complaining about over here in the US after Trump continued to say that the virus came from China, that they believe there would be discrimination against the Asian community. But look what they're doing over there in China. Keep in mind, you got a bunch of Chinese in Africa. The only way to resolve this, you fight fire with fire. You treat people how they treat you. Until the Africans over there in Africa start treating these Chinese the same way the Chinese treat them, they're not going to be no change. That's the solution. That's the solution. You got Chinese over there in Africa, lock them in their fucking house. <laughs> I'm telling you. Do that shit. Treat them the same fucking way. You fight fire with fire. But again, the, the those African dudes over there in Africa, they don't produce the same kind of testosterone <laughs> that black American guys produce. And they're just more passive. See, look, it's either that or when you're so dependent on somebody, you will allow them to abuse you, mistreat you, and fuck you over. Because you, you, you're so dependent on them for your fucking bread and your water and your food and shit. It's like you're a dog and you won't bite the hand that feeds you. What the fuck? Even if they're abusing you. But you're supposed to be a human. You're supposed to be a fucking man. All right. When somebody mistreats you, you treat them the same way they treat you. There's no such thing as turning the other cheek. <laughs> That's only for the colonized. <laughs> okay. The conqueror don't believe in that. All right. You don't turn the other cheek. When you turn the other cheek, you embolden other people. So the African dudes over there in Africa, you treat these Chinese the same goddamn way. Matter of fact, be even harder on them. Make them fucking want to leave. That's how you do this shit. What the fuck? Look, man, I'd rather be a man and push back on my feet than push back on my knees begging for mercy. There's no way I'm going to let you do some shit. Now, in actuality, the Chinese over there in China, you're in their domain. I mean, it's like you don't have no fucking um, it roots over there in China. It's, it's, I don't even know why these, these fools went over there. But let's finish this art, article, man. Some specific group people targeted for time. Right. Officials have denied that such lockdown is in place. The post was written by a random person user who didn't mention the source of his information but it sparked rumors that there had been a resurgence of COVID-19 driven by outsiders as speculation ran rampant Wabu 
users began to suggest that the local African community was to blame for the lockdown. Some of them pointed out that the measure came on the heels of an ugly incident in Guaspat Guazi last week when a Nigerian man who had contracted COVID-19 allegedly attacked a nurse while trying to flee a hospital. It seems that the incident has caused more damage than all the locally transmitted cases that China had a deal with in the past two months. Wabu user wrote in a post which include a photo showing a street and solid blocked by barricades. The Wabu users complaint struck a chord with a vast number of Wabu users. As of Tuesday evening, a day after it was posted, the message had received about 23,000 comments and more than 500,047 likes. Meanwhile, as similar complaints piled up, people on Waba started to coalesce around the hashtag. Coalesce around the hashtag. I don't know what the fuck that is. To spout racist, bigoted, and hateful rhetoric about Africans. And I mean, look, these Chinese were doing, trying to do the same thing here in America when they were talking about there being a backlash. But look what they're doing over there. Let me see. In a typical Waba comment, one rule in Chinese, the black people in Gaza constitute a serious problem for the city. They are lazy and unhygienic. Many of them are drug addicts or thieves because they don't have much in their savings. I wouldn't be surprised if a second outbreak occurred in Guasma. Hey, I'm telling you, dude, you got H and you have many, many um, Asians and Chinese who align themselves with white supremacists and the neo-Nazi rhetoric. Why do you think they're using Asians to attack uh, affirmative action, something that the vast majority of black Americans have not benefited from? And the truth is white women benefited from affirmative action more than anybody. But they, when I say they, the white supremacists continue to get Asians, Southeast Asians to push against affirmative action. See, this is how they do it. They use... um, these other racial groups, when I say they again, the neo Nazis and white supremacists, and they put them in the forefront to uh, push certain causes and issues, and they use Asians to push this uh, anti affirmative action issue. Meanwhile, the information of information office of uh, hate whatever that city is government said in Chinese in a press conference yesterday that the since five Nigerian migrants tested positive for COVID. 19 this week, the city had launched a comprehensive Murder and panicking with the game If you choose to roll, kicking those Putting holes and motherfuckers leaving holes Disposed of, nigga lay it down When I creep on the mission to send you six feet Nigga don't sleep Cause game when I hit to the first zone Worst known Mike Hola, my Hummer Roller Evacuating strapped soldiers Inside strategy, manifesting military Styles, casual strategy When niggas battle me, my problems are prediction Switch and move positions, separated from His gun and bitch, and watch him start snitching I keep spitting, still stupid niggas fail to listen, I'm a sci-fi, this thug living hell of prison, my ammunition varies, my voice carries, watch me invite the whole world, me and the mob getting married, it seems horrifying springs pierce the dark, this is a trick bitch, where's your heart, your mark, watch niggas fall when I call they name, we outlaws on your head, niggas all the same, except some want more out of life distress, we still thug until there's none left, murder and pain, sleep. come with the game, if you choose to roll, kicking doors, putting holes in motherfuckers, leaving hoes disposed of, nigga lay it down when I creep, on a mission to send you six feet, nigga don't sleep.